Hey family, welcome back to another one of our lovely videos. So I am out hunting for a paint color on this chilly, dreary day. But um, I am here at the Sherwin Williams, so we are gonna go inside and see if I can pick out a beautiful paint color for the kitchen cabinets. Now I'm not gonna go with black, because I think that I'll love black at first, but then maybe six months down the road, I wanna like change stuff and then I will have to paint it again. So I think something more like a creamy color with gold accents will look very be beautiful. So let's go inside. It has been raining all day, all night. Family, your girl almost had a heart attack. Like literally stuff is so expensive. So I went, cause what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint one. Well not paint, I actually have that. I'll explain here in a second. But anyways, went and bought this. This was $10 and something for one handle. And then these are the smaller ones that I'm gonna use on the cabinet. So I bought only three, that came to $30. Oh, goodness and then this they know these things should only cost a dollar a dollar 75 or something like that this cost five dollars <laughs> at Sherwin Williams it's just a sticker that sticks on your cabinets or walls to see if you want to paint it that color so anyways I'm gonna try to match that stuff up see how it looks and we will see and if it looks good when I get home then that's the color I'm gonna paint the cabinets let me see, I'm trying to put it up right now, see how it looks. This looks so different in different kinds of lighting. That's pretty though, but it's not giving cream. Anyways, we'll see. Hey okay, family, we are back at the homestead. So what I'm gonna do is I purchased this sticker right here and it's like a cream, you really can't tell. It probably looks really white on camera, but it's not, it's like a real pretty cream color. And then I got the hardware right here and I'm just gonna put it on there and just see if it matches up. That's the color of the hardware. Okay, and that's how the color would look. A real pretty creamy color. Um, I'm thinking I might just take these back because it's not the kind of gold I want. I want a little bit more of the gold to show. Or maybe it's just not showing because there's like no light or anything in here, but um, let me see. It's giving more of a brown and not gold. And I want more of a gold color. Family, who says it does not rain in the desert and we get no water? When I tell you that it's been raining for like the past week, it's been crazy out here. And so that's another thing that I have to um, focus on. I'm glad that I'm out, actually out here living now because I can see what things I really need to work on and things I can hold off on. But one thing we really need to work on is getting some rocks laid out here because this is just all, I mean, I know some yards are worse. My property is really rocky, so it's not too, too bad, but it's still bad. Um, but we need some rock out here because the backyard is completely muddy. Then I have Judah now and I don't want him tracking in all the mud or me and my husband tracking in all the mud. So yeah, but it won't stop raining. <laughs> I do wish though that I did have my rainwater catchment system in place, especially before monsoon season, because that's so much water that we could have stored up. Okay, family, we are back from Sherwin Williams, and the color that I chose to go with is not the uh, creamy. Let me show you. Uh, this is the one that I showed you last night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the creamy color for our walls in here. I think that'll look real pretty. Cream and black. Okay, so that'll be the main wall color and I believe I'm going to do the whole house like throughout, except for like the bedroom and the bathroom. 
the rooms that are separated, but the living room and kitchen will be done in Sherwin Williams Creamy. Okay, and the reason why I did not choose that for, um, oh, you guys see, I took, um, we're go I took the tent down because we need a bigger tent. Uh, my husband wanted to get a better one too, so that's why you don't see that there anymore. And yes, the dog marked his spot on the mattress today. That's the first time, so I had to clean that up. So that's why it's wet, but anyway. Um, I didn't go with the creamy because the lady on YouTube that I was watching said that it would be very hard to find wall colors that will go along with the creamy color on cabinets. And she said, and it'll be hard to match your uh, floor colors with that too. Cause as you see, our floors aren't done. We're gonna have those epoxied. They're gonna be real shiny and glassy looking. And I don't even know what color we're gonna go with those um, yet. But anyways, I went with the emerald, um, what is it, enamel from Sherwin-Williams. And this is how it looks. It's like a tricorn black. What I painted this stand right here is tricorn black. And that's a Sherwin-Williams color too. I love that. I got satin finish. But this is even blacker than the tricorn from Sherwin Williams. So that's why I'm going with this. And she said it it uh, stands the test of time when you paint it in this enamel. She said, it's very, very, very good. You paint it in this enamel. She said, it's very, very, very good. So that's why I spent the extra money and we're going with this. So we are going with this color of gold. It's not like a real bright, shiny gold, but it's more of a muted gold. And then I think that'll look good against the black cabinets. What do you guys think? Or do you think um, a more shiny gold would go better. But that's where we're at so far, so I'm gonna start painting. And these cabinets are already ready to go. I don't need to sand, I don't need to, I don't even think I need to prime them. Um, but this is what I bought. I got all the stuff from Sherwin. Just went ahead and got everything from there. Um, this right there. And that, and we are ready to roll. First door has its first coat on it and it's looking good. And I thought that it was done raining today, but oh no, it started again. These rain clouds just won't leave. I mean, it's so pretty though. Let me try to brighten that up a little bit. So pretty out here when it rains. Okay, so let me show y'all. Um, the cabinets, I didn't do the bottom, bottom part, as you can see, or the sides, because I still gotta buy the wood pieces to go on the side and then staple those or use a gun thing to put those on and then paint those. But when I tell you, I'm so happy that I went with the black. That looks so good and it looks like I actually used a spray gun and the lady at Sherwin Williams told me that um, it would look like that. So I'm so happy. Let's get a close up. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. Seamless, yes. It really does pay to use the good stuff. But like I said, I still gotta get down there, down there at the bottoms go by the boards to go on the side. But it looks amazing, you guys. 
Yes, it does. Now I don't know what color to do the kitchen island. What do you guys think? Because I don't want too much black in here, even though um, I already told you guys this, but let me take this down. This is the creamy color that I wanted to paint all the walls. It's a sticker. Hold on. Let's hold it up to that black and see how it looks. Okay. Let's stick this right here. And let's stand back and see how that looks. I think that creamy is gonna look really good as a wall color because it does match my furniture the cream stuff that is in here. So what do you guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think about the creamy color being the color for the entire kitchen and the living room area? Oh yeah, and I was also thinking, cause remember I said that I was thinking about putting a window there, there and there. Now I'm thinking about, cause I do want cabinets or open shelving on each side of the window. So what about a window there and a window there? Do you guys think that'll look Silly, what do you think? Stand right here. Window there, window there. Um, open shelving, open shelving, refrigerator, stove, cabinets, actual wall cabinets coming this way. Let me know. Okay, family, your girl is pooped today. Don't mind my one lashes on. Look, I got lashes on this eye, no lashes on this eye. <laughs> But anyways, I will do another coat tomorrow on the cabinets. And then I'm going to go pick up, uh, there's this thing that you can put on your kitchen cabinets before you put your hardware on and it like gives you where the holes are supposed to go so you can go ahead and drill those in. I think I'm gonna go pick that up tomorrow from the Home Depot. Get those on there and yeah, that's it for today so you guys, um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you all so much for your support. I love every single last one of you. And I hope that you would have a beautiful and blessed night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.